So, do you have a problem with your car not starting? Particularly when hot. And if you plug in an OBD2 scanner, it comes up with code P0340, which is a fault in the camshaft sensor. Then this video might come in handy because uh, there is a quick fix, a relatively quick fix you could do to get your car started, to get yourself home, to get you out of trouble. Of course, long term you'll need a new sensor. So this is uh, an MG ZS with a KV6 engine. It uses a hall type cam sensor, which is this little job here. Uh, so you can test it using an altimeter, but on the volt scale. And you need to shave a bit of insulation off these wires. We've got three wires going to the hall sensor, black, red, and green. So on the volts reading, it should have 12 volts going to the black and the red wires. Let's see if we measure that. We need to have the ignition on first, hang on. Okay, so between the black and red wires, we have 12 volts, 12 and a half volts. The output from the whole sensor is the green wire. So we measure between the black wire and the green wire. And basically that varies between ground or zero volts and uh, five volts. Now the way to test it is to take it out. So you need an 8mm spanner in this case. Take out the little bolt holding it in place. Now at the moment this car has got a faulty sensor more than a new one. I did manage to get it home and I'll show you the trick for doing that in a minute. Just clean up the end of it. Clean up the oil. Okay, careful you don't short these wires out because you've got the insulation stripped off. Now, the way to test it is to measure that output voltage gain. So when it's not next to metal, I believe it should read 5 volts, so it did previously. Okay, off metal 4.94, onto the metal work 4.91, so very, very weak reading, which is not enough to trigger the ECU. It refuses to start. If you check the error codes, it comes up with the P0340. Then, if we just clean that up and put a bit of ice, wrap the ice around the sensor the lowering of the temperature is enough to bring the sensor temporarily back into life that should allow you to start the car and you can actually see the sensor come back into life by measuring the voltage that might be enough probably pays to do it for uh, quite a few minutes Maybe five minutes or so. Let's give that a little test, see if that has changed anything. Measure it again. So what have we got? We've now got 5.07, a bit higher. Tip it on metal work, instantly drops down to 0.63. So you can see the effect of lowering the temperature of the sensor has actually made it come back into life. So if we quick put that back in the engine, uh, it should then start. And indeed, the car does start eventually. It took a little bit of a time to start, but it did start. And uh, as I say, what I found was when it got hot, it wouldn't start again afterwards. So, that's how to uh, temporarily fix your problem with a bit of ice. Long term solution is change the sensor. As people on the internet at the moment are doing the sensor, new sensor and lead for about £50. So not uh, an unreasonable cost. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.